I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 81. So what is going to be happening in this episode of D&J Projects? You're going to see the Sani make an appearance on a massive fencing job. You are going to see a drop crossing. Well, part of it. You're going to see the reason why we've got shafted and we've got no drive. I hope you enjoy this episode. So hello guys and welcome back to another video. You've just saw the little intro that me and Dad have just done, explaining and thanking everyone for continually supporting the channel. For me, it's Aznet and it's Finn today. Ah, oh, was your fall last uh, last week, Finn? My shin still hurts. His shin still hurts, but he did not send us a postcard for his trip. I think I, that is a... Uh... I laughed so hard, yeah. right? <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed that, but you're fine, aren't you, mate? That's, that's the main point. Yeah, he yeah, said right, he's good. Right, yeah. He said he's good. It was funny, though. It was really funny. But yeah. We're on a big boy fence installed today, waiting for Dad and Jordan. We'll see them when they get here. But you might have already saw clips of them being here, because I said we'll start the video when we get here. But of course, we'll fence in whilst we wait. So, let me show you what we're doing. Well, this was there. That's been taken out. This post is coming out. In an ideal world, you'd run off that. But I don't know if neighbours are best friends, so it might be best to put a fresh post in there. If that's the case, not a problem. This concrete post, this council one, this is coming out. And God, that feels solid. This one, Jesus, that feels solid as well. It's going to be a new gate here for the door. It's going to be a little panel here, and then there's going to be a new gate here. Look at these concrete posts. I knew these was going to be solid today. Absolutely solid. Whilst I was allowed to get that out, I'll show you around the back. This is also being done as well. It's going to be a new panel. There's going to be a new gate right here. I don't know if we'll bother up with the crossbeam. Just got to figure out what to do with this because this is like a rendered sort off the bricks. You see that there? A little bit like the last one that we did. Whilst I've got you guys, remember to subscribe if you're brand new around here and smash the like button for this episode. And then you come around to the back. The plan was to bring a digger down here because there's going to be a fence running all the way down there to the end. But this hedge is coming out, guys. That's how big in this one is just before Christmas, ain't it? There is a gate here, but there isn't going to be a gate anymore. This is just going to be a panel because it's a field behind. So the plan is, Dad is bringing the Sane, the big digger. He's coming from over that way, quite a bit of a distance, but he's going to try and get the digger all the way around here so we can take this out. Now that will be a massive, mahoosive help. So here's hoping he can do that. But obviously we can't do any fencing in here until Dad gets here with Jordan and Mason. There's going to be six of us on this job this morning. I know I've got a quota 11 and one at 12, so I'm going to be away for a couple of hours, but these lads are more than capable of cracking on. That's coming out, that's coming out, that's coming out, that's coming out, or getting cut to the floor. All get, well, all right. All, all out, yeah. Who is, if you go to the wall, both go to the wall. Yeah, so we'll, we'll put this where we want. We might go to here. Right. Might attach to that. These big boys have got to come out. Yeah, yeah. Be hard. This one here, going to be on the breaker for these bad boys for a long time. Who's ever took these big boys out? I might even do this. Oh, I, I was going to say I might cut it and put some fresh concrete in. But if you have a look here, the concrete ball is there. Now, I wonder if that might come out easier than expected. This one, ah, the same here, guys, look. Might just need to put a bit of timber there. Once we've got a post in, put a bit of timber there and then concrete this bit back round, so, you know, so it don't fall down there. But looking at that, oh, oh this is concreted in as well, bloody hell. But again, concrete ball right there. Might come out easier. So the first one is in. Some of you may be asking, why have we left the post high? Well, because the customer said, yeah, let's run off this one. So there'll be a panel up to that shoulder. This panel will be up to that shoulder. It's two inches, so it's two inches too short. Some would say, why not lift the gravel board? If you lift that side of the gravel board anymore, it's going to be floating. And you should know by now, we don't have floating gravel boards. 
So we're having this tea whilst it's still sort of lukewarm. Finn's digging this next hole. As has been busy getting these posts out, they're quite big boys as well. Hopefully you saw it on the time lapse. That one fell over. So we've got to dig a little bit of concrete out for that one. And that one, we're still working out what we're gonna do. But we just keep plodding. So here we go guys. And took us long for this. Hasn't took long at all. Not looking too shabby. Probably a bit of patch tarmac here because of this post. Obviously that ain't gonna be staying no more. And that post is gonna be running. So if, they, if those two are lining up there, we're gonna go pretty, oh, pretty much in that square look. Yeah, that's good actually. So somewhere around here, somewhere here, gotta get concrete out of there. And then what we're gonna do with this one, cause it snapped off and obviously it's concrete here, but we need a post somewhere here. We're gonna cut, cut get this bit of concrete out so we've got somewhere for this to go so we can actually dig a hole so we can get our post in simple stuff but it's a bit time consuming but yeah looking good guys i'll tell you what we'll do we'll get this post in here with finn's magic fingers and there's the post with the gravel board gravel board sitting level this panel is going to sit relatively level it's going to be a four by two timber on there for the gate it's going to be a big gate as you can see guys this is going to be a big gate it's going to be a post and a 4 by 2 timber there. Nice wide opening. Again, post, post, gate. That is, yeah, it's an old wheelchair access for the previous tenant, I believe. But yeah, the fence is running in a straight line there, but as you can see, we're on a curve. So now this is going to curve. Can you see how the concrete now curves away down here? Well, this post is going to go there. Post, the, the gate's still going to sit nice and straight together, but in a line, it's definitely going to go up and then kick off again. Probably kick this one off as well guys but yeah, yeah, just, yeah right it's here. coming on right on to this one here dad has just arrived i'm off to go do a quote so i'm gonna pass you off into the capable hands of my dad jordan and nathan we'll see you soon we'll see how much these bad boys have done fencing wise when i get back but i can't lie this one looks hard good morning and it is still a frosty morning. Let's get that turned off, because we'll get a copyright. Who is it today? You can see the sunny in the back. Is it away? We're ripping a hedge out today. There's me, Mason, Jordan. Me and Stevie did a recce, like a bit of a recce mission on this. This field here, our customer backs onto this. So if we couldn't get onto this field, we'd have to use the little digger. But look what have it, the padlock is off this. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the van in, our job's just over there. Take the van in, put a padlock on it so no one can trap us in here. And then we're gonna rip the edge out from this side, which this is all gonna be houses. It's been sold to build houses on. It's a bit of a shame, really. Nice bit of land. But yeah, let's get this gate open. Let's get the sunny and the van in there. Let's get started. There we have it, we're in. So now our job is, I only know it by a certain tree. Hey, there they So just over there where that tree is, our job's just there. So let's head over there. So it's this hedge here coming out. Don't worry about these brambles. We're gonna flatten these brambles with a bucket. We're gonna get in there and it's all that. Just here and now, uh, he's the other side of that. So yeah, let's get the digger off, get it up here, get this edge ripped out. So it's from that tree, and there's a little gap there. Sunny's down there, just had to take the sunny off because it's a slight incline on the hill here to get the van up. Yeah, let's get this done. 
There's a little time lapse of us making or clearing the way in really it's all like that so we're not even back to the edge yet the hedge is there so we'll swap the bucket we'll put the 600 bucket on we're going to start making a way in a little bit and trying to pull that out and get back i just see some legs behind there so that's either ant or finn it might even be steve -er. but yeah it's big clear out first before we even get to the hedge but that edge looks really really thick there so what we're going to do is try and pull some out make a make a way in
One word. That claw on that, wow. Amazing. I don't know if you see by the time lapse and the raw footage and everything else. Just amazing. It's made light work of that. Yeah. I can see why they're, they're big in America. I can really see why they're big in America. Just got to get the knack of it. Putting the claw down and using the bucket to trap. Like pincing it like that. Not using the claw. The claw's not really powerful enough to do that. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Let's dig it 18. Watched him do it and... Yeah, just wow, amazing. Kick concrete up with it. I mean, it's made light work at that pile. All we'll do now, we'll take that pile on the back of that. I'm going to trim it off, take that back to the yard, let the grabs grab it off, come back, and I'll just lift that on with a digger. Just so easy. Jordan said, it only got warm. <laughs> God, it just went, went too quick, all over. But yeah, we're going to have a little bite to eat, I think. Warm up in the cab, have a cup of tea, coffee and then take this van back to the yard, get the grabs, grab it off, come back and empty load. It's looking good. And now to the front. Obviously, we have got this, we're not doing this yet, keeping this up. Let me just show you what's happening here. So these posts are in. Remember, that panel is being changed to go to the top of posts. This panel, of course, is gonna be slid in there. This panel is gonna be slid in there. There's gonna be a gate here. There's gonna be a gate here. These should run relatively straight now because the ground sort of leveled out it just dropped down there but obviously we can bring this gate up and a gate has always got to run straight anyway so that is going to look very good nice big gate as well for the door a little smaller but still big for the side going to come back for that timber going to come back for this concrete that's the 4b2 timbers that are going to go one two one two this fencing is staying because it's sort of holding up this lean-to well sort of if you don't want to take that down and then get blamed for that. But this hedge is coming out. This hedge is out, and we made some good progress. This fencing, that can just go around the front or just to the side for a sec. But now dad needs to get that out. We're gonna start with this, gonna put a nine foot corner there to get the neighbor's fence looking good. It's always two sides to every fence, remember that guys? And then our first bay is gonna be somewhere around here. Aiming for, you see the boundary post? So I don't want anyone saying, oh, you've gone too far back. We haven't, we're just going to the boundary post. The hedge officer kicked itself all the way out. It was quite thick, as you can see. But this existing post right here is boundary. Let's just crack on. trying the head cam out again. I don't know what you can see, but this format is absolutely spot on. Just getting the, getting the grips really, really. Pile of concrete over there. All the brushes over there. So yeah, let's take the rest of this out. All I've been doing, just folding it down like that, and basically bringing the thumb around and using the bucket. So there's the thumb, bit of bucket there. Stevie just loves living life dangerously. It really does. <laughs> it just loves it. Just go out so we can put a line up. Get that line. We'll be out his way in a minute. So yeah, just come across. All I'm doing. I'm getting a full stem. Going down, bending it down. When I can bend it down, bring the thumb down to where it needs to be. And basically just grabbing it. And put it 
over there for the boys. And then the boys are there. We're in the back of the van. And then just repeat. teeth in the in the grass just don't be wrecking this grass that much so there's another one of them posts oh missed it like I say, just getting the hang of it. Just slapped a bit too much pressure on that. Look at that. And then you just, I'm only curling the bucket. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. I don't know if people use these thumbs all the time. I'm doing it right, but it seems to be working. Like I say, never used a thumb before. Not really a thing when I was a machine driver, really. But well, I think they're amazing, amazing invention. I'd like to have a go on one of them rotors, where it rotates all the way around. I can't wait till we get our uh, ditching bucket. I really cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be coming this week. Carl was just waiting for some hoses, some fittings on the hoses. There's a massive bit to be quick release. And we're going to get a top hat for the breaker as well. So, get the breaker on here. Instead of putting on a little one. Well, I might have a top hat made, put on a little one as well. Get a bit of a shake. Back over again. Right here in this bin. The only thing I found out with this Sanna. little bit unbalanced when the thumb I don't know if the thumb sent a little bit unbalanced but it's a little tiny bit unbalanced no because zero swing but I did find that with a bobcat as well the balance wasn't great you just have to be careful because the wheel lift more than what the capable of doing but yeah that's all we're doing folding it down really really simple fold it down once it's down on the ground bring the thumb around bit of a bit of shake John just told me to put it there so put it there for him going really well really well really really happy with it highly recommend these highly recommend it sunny and the full hey it whips me in the face <laughs> It down towards me a little bit because obviously that art ass. say easy money George just told me obviously that that lean two things leaning so just be careful with that got that 
down there. That goes down there. We have a concrete. So it's got to be dead, dead careful with this one. Just uh, pull it away. straps on there the front one's got some straps on we'll put some on the trailer we're going to strap that down wrap it down with a digger while he puts the straps on and then we're going to take that one back bring it back and probably put a little bit of this on the front of it because there's only a little bit left and then spread this back over yeah it's going really well really happy with the digger really really happy with the digger an amazing attachment that form absolutely amazing keep on banging on about it but i know it's, it's about an hour and a half to do and jordan worked out if it's on it constant but we stopped, yeah, doing really well. This is that, that fencing that we said is staying. You can see why it's staying as well, guys. Have a good look at it. The lean-to is, oh, quite literally leaning. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess in there. So we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna go from sort of just a bit further over there in a straight line up to that post there. So sort of right next to it. Got our first bay up now as well. Got our string line running true to where the boundary post was looking good looking looking good it's definitely gonna look good when this one's done we'll get this one next in with these fingers that's two bees one more to go how's that do you want magic fingers they don't work get them warmed up mate so the plan two level two level and then we'll see what the fifth one is going to be. Need a little bit of ground dug out at the top right of that level there. Bada bing, bada bong, guys. That is looking bloody not too shabby. I think we've said it before, mate, but we do love a seven foot panel, yeah. a seven foot fence, sorry, with a gravel board and then a seven foot. It just, it just looks good with a tall panel. Been very, very good. Dad's gone. I don't know if he's filmed it. Yeah, that's looking good. We need some more panels now. I didn't think we'd get this far down today, but they're going to bring a panel. And then this bay is going to be seven foot. That will take us to around about here. And then the corner post up to that concrete post up there. So it's going to look bloody good, this one. Definitely when this bit ties in to this bit here. Yeah, we can get the gravel board in ready. I dare say we could steal one of these panels as well. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to steal one of these panels. There's four of us. We can all lift it out. And then when another panel comes, we can slide that one back in. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, mate.
Can't see a lot, but we're loaded up. Sunny's all loaded, and Stevie will show you this job tomorrow. So it's another day at DJ for me and the boys. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at DJ Projects. It's currently minus four. Does anyone like these these new beaners? DJ Projects. Got my Christmas boxes when I got me one. Yeah, I got my dad one. I thought I'm buying one for myself, so I'm getting my dad one. He loves me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's minus four, so it's needed today. It, what a comparison of a difference from what I'm wearing to now my dad there. I've got this to come on, yeah. I've got another layer to come so on. Don't give me that. He's, he's, uh, if he moans about being cold today. Oh, that, that yesterday, the sunny was lovely. Yeah, That's so neat as that. <laughs> I opened the window and then felt the heat coming out the window, so I thought, oh, I can't do this to the lads. I'll get the window <laughs> It was it was absolutely freezing, guys, and especially when I think you saw the last clips when it was absolutely pitch black. We were trying to slide a six x six panel in, won't go in for some reason. Of you trying to slide it in at seven foot, but once we did that, my hands turned in to ice cubes. I could not feel my hands; it was so numb and cold for some reason, and it lasted for about five minutes. Dead, dead strange. But what we're doing now? My desk is looking messy. I just write Stevie on the walk talker to get up here, mate. Let's thank these subscribers and see what they've sent in. This one, I'm not going to show you this. I've opened it. I'll show you this when we use it. So, yeah. whoever sent this in, you'll see this later on in the video. So, stick around if you want to know what's in this bag. Yeah. This one, Jordan and Bieber. So, we'll take that over. This one, don't know what it is. We haven't opened it yet. Hey, 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 hey. Do appreciate all of these guys. Oh, yeah, see? They come in handy, your stuff you send us. But no, we do appreciate all of this stuff, guys. You don't have to send us anything. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> but when you do, we massively, massively appreciate it. Whilst he just treats. Right, it stopped. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Ian Ratcliffe. Oh, yeah. To all, the staff, to all the staff, including the girls in the office. Merry Christmas from me, Ian Ratcliffe. Thank you very much, Ian. Yeah. OG. OG of the channel. Heather. Oh, bloody hell. What's the grammage on that? It's got to be about 750. I don't actually say, but it's Heather. Heavy. I'm heavy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if they're sweets or chocolates. Chocolates. Ah, oh, there we go. Life is like a box of chocolates. What so, movie is that from? Yeah. What movie is that from? Let us know in the comments down below. Shall we open the card? Yeah. Let's do it. A second. I don't know how she's been putting them. She's been putting them up. Oh, oh it's got customised. Yeah, pretty cool. And the bump. So they must be expected. Oh, yeah. More OGs. Thank you very much. Yeah. Congratulations as well. Yes, that's it. Big congrats in the comments down below, guys. Yeah. I guess that baby's way like we're doing Jordan's. Yes. He's like in the comments are doing. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. We'll get that one pulled up with that other one. That's two Christmas cards for D&J Projects. Thank you very much. Yes. All right, this one. Why are we opening this? Aha. Well, I don't love it when the boxes come like this. Ooh, this one's a... Ooh. There's a card in there. Yeah, we'll open that. <laughs> <laughs> you get straight into the good stuff first, don't you? <laughs> See what it is? Ooh, it's a fancy box. Ooh. Big kiss. And they'll be happy. They do look good, they do. That, that one looks very nice. Ginger. Ginger, oh yeah. Thank you, guys. We're going to find out who it's from. Another Christmas yeah. card. Oh, yeah. Is that Kilber? Is it Kilber? Yeah. Is that his Jane Kilber. Mick and Jane Kilber. Well, thank you very much, Mick and Jane Kilber. Big, big shout out to you guys. Lovely card as well. And thank you very much for the biscuit assortments. Yeah, the lads will. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's another card. We've been drinking a lot of tea and coffee lately. It's trying to keep warm. I think nope. it's Jamie's uh, back on the hot drinks. You don't normally drink them, but yeah. Back on the hot drinks. But like I say, guys, absolutely massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone that one, watches the videos, but then two, decides to send something into us. It is mind blowing really when you Support, think about yeah. it the fact that people taking their own time to go onto these websites the moon pig i don't know where that other one's from chocolatebuttons.co.uk apparently amazon for jordan and sending stuff like that in to us i cannot stress enough how grateful and how appreciative and we are like we say you don't have to do it you don't have to do it but when you do we appreciate it we do we don't don't think you don't go unnoticed because it does mm. Very, very kind. Jordan should be bringing the grab round. I'll get that on camera when he opens that. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Dad's going to pick a number between one. How many comments do we normally get? 500? Between 300 and 400. Right, right. Dad's going to pick a number between one and 400. 
whoever gets the number or is the closest is going to get one of these beanies for Christmas. Simple task. All you've got to do is pick a number in the comments down below. Yeah. Thinking of one? Yeah. Let's get it. And let's get our day done. In fact, done. I'll do it. Legit. Legit. So, I'm going to write it down. On a, make sure I don't need this bit of paper. Yeah, I don't need this bit of paper. I'm going to write it down on this bit of paper so the pen don't fall apart. <laughs> My hands are cold already. It's cold in this office. I have to get the heat on for the dinner. Right. Between what was it? One and four hundred. Dead easy. Yeah, right, it's folded up and I'm going to pin it to this backboard. I'll just put it under here a lot. No one will touch that and then we'll yeah. come back. We'll open that on camera and the lucky winner will get one of them beaners. We'll customise one specially for you. Yeah, let's go and give this to so the, the long awaited one. Let's so catch up with Jordan. This is for you, mate. Yeah. It opens. Yeah. Well, it's you and Bebe, but. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Don't know who it's come from. Subscribe, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, your fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Who knows? Baby girl, yeah. Oh, wicked. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lovely. I don't want to open it here, but yeah, it's a lovely baby girl. From oh, OG. It's got edge yeah. It's got edge rocks on it. Yeah. To Jordan and his wife. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> you know what you've got to do now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a little something for the new little man. Merry Christmas from Ian Ratcliffe. Oh, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Good, I'll make sure we get a picture with that on. Oh, yeah. Wicked. I'll put it in there so it keeps nice and... Yeah. So it looks like we'll have to get a D&J Projects one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was a D&J one. I thought someone had made the D&J Projects one, so... <laughs> You're leaving it to me, guys. Don't worry, I'll get that sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, off to go and do the fence. It was dark when we last shown it yacht. So let's get in now and show you what it's looking like. Guys, got some panels. Let's slide them in and see if our measurements were correct. Not bad, a little tap down and we'll be happy with that. Looks a bit different because that's frosted and that one isn't. But a little tap down and that one's good. To the shoulders, how we like it. Nice, nice, nice. That's what we like. Do we have another one? Yeah. Yes, we do. Definitely not too shabby. Looking good. This one's just got to come out, remember, guys. Oh, it's stuck. Frozen, guys. Much easier than the 6x6 six six we struggled with yesterday. Yeah, we struggled a bit yesterday, didn't we? We did, mate. But it was seven foot tall. And my hands were like ice blocks. I don't think you can grumble with that guys definitely looking good jamie's got to make the gate for there and there but when it's in it's gonna look nice let's show you the back let's have a look eh? you just don't get better you just don't get better very nice need to get a post in there we need to get warm so we're just going to get this in with the fingers guys there's our post. Definitely not too shabby. What we got? One, two, 
two, three, four to go. About four to go. Lads around the front now. Taking all of the timber and concrete from the front that we put on the front yesterday. Um, yeah, time lapse. Let's get some more done. Yeah, because you see this here, see this gravel board? Yeah. If we could get our last gravel board to match that gravel board. Try a red level on it, see what it's like, yeah? Right behind you, mate. Still more? Up your end. Yeah. Yeah. It's always better. Right. Make sure she's in a good line. That's pretty good there. So we're done in the back. We'll show you that in a hot sec. And now it is this beauty right here. The plan, because this has got that render, can you see the bricks here, guys? It's quite far back. Very, very far. It's like an insulation. They did it on all of these houses. If anyone knows where we are, I'm sure you saw it happening. The plan is, obviously, get the gate off. This white timber here, I'm gonna keep that. That's gonna stay. This is gonna be a concrete post with a 4x2 timber on it. The gate will hang off this side. Because I don't know how strong this is gonna be, I'm gonna hang it off the post that I know is gonna be strong. I'm gonna put a couple bags of post fix in there, maybe even three. This will be a gravel board panel concrete post. We'll get this down. Who's Magic Fingers wants to do this then? You're doing it, hasn't it? This is gone. And whilst we mess around with that last post, let's go and see what my dad's been up to today. First stop fuel station nice and full another two days in there what a cost that in bernie are looking into getting one of their machines where you pay uh put money in you know for the traders and us they put free vend i don't want a coffee machine i want one of the vending machines so if anyone does do vending machines these coffee machines drop me an email on our socials we on the screen now either instagram me email me I want a quote for one, so we can put one in the shop, so the traders will get it and the lads will be able to use it as well. But it's got to be a vending machine one, not just a normal coffee machine. We don't want the hassle of that. So yeah, drop us a message, socials, or my private Instagram, or the business. 
or the YouTube, I'll pick it up either way. That'd be really, really nice. Any of you, my subscribers, do offer that service or work for someone or know someone, it'd be much appreciated. But with that said, let's get this bag dropped off. So we have uh, our first bag dropped off. The lads are doing a delivery of fencing here as well. But yeah, on to the next. Two souls colliding. We shared the pieces of ourselves. It's perfect timing now. We fueled the flames, but we're still learning to trust, learning to trust. It's never enough, never enough. Burning me up, burning me up. Don't fight the fire. Too much, too fast. We'll burn us out. We walk the wire. Love. Don't make me read your mind. I know where. Seen by the time lapse, done that little grab. We tip that in the yard. We're going to stream that. Nah, it's all the heads from last night. We're going to get this loaded up and we're going to get this tipped off. There we go. It's all on and gone. Just got to tidy these edges up now, cut them off, and then ready to go. So we're all tipped off the green. Now it's our next grab. It's only a small one. It's meant to be big red. This end of Nottingham that we're using mighty white. And there it is. Probably take that back and get that screen. So we've just done that grab for Louis and here he is with his trailer. He's gonna pull underneath, gonna grab a bit off his trailer and then we're on our way. One clean trailer with a bit more on the back. Yeah, we've helped Louis out. Louis just working around the corner. Louis yeah, is Total Gardens. And if you did watch me and the struggle having a night out together, Louis brought us a chip because Louis lives in the area. So, yeah, massive thank you to Louis from Total Gardens. So we've managed to get the soil all the way up there. We've got this one to tip here and we've got another one we're going to go and fetch now. We're going to tip that back here because that's decent stuff as well. But yeah, right up that here now. Right to the back. Can't wait to get screening next year. Some good deals on for our customers and our traders. But yeah, let's get this tipped off and over to the next one. That's that one done. Just got a little one around the corner, a couple of grabs, and then we're back to the yard. Here we are. We are back. I can't remember if we ever shown this. I think we did. But yeah, let's get timbers here. Right, sort of here. So there's that timber there. Uh, what we're gonna do, I think that's rendered over because there was a timber here and the render's there. So we're gonna level across from there to there. We did it previously, but we're gonna do it again. See that little mark there? We're gonna make sure it's right and then we're just gonna hand saw. Put it down, guys. So we've got that timber down. Render just needs a bit of a wipe, but it definitely looks better. Thankfully, it was rendered behind as well, which is always a bonus. We'll get this panel in there.
<laughs> Something must be wrong there. Just like we mentioned, Jamie messed up the panel last week. It's me this week. Always got it, because I was going to say, well, let's see if we can redeem ourselves. Because I took the measurement for this one as well. I don't know what I've done with the one up there. Come on, big boy. Finish strong. Finish the week strong. Well, it's still Wednesday, but... Uh, it's a close one. Lips are still tingling from the challenge. Yes, yes, that's it. It's looking good. It's looking good. Come on, big boy. Big boy's in the house. Just need to tap down. Lovely job, lovely job. Nice little step, just like that one there. See how we did a small one and did a small one because I didn't want to drop it too high. And yes, before anyone says out, customers decided to go with six foot on this one and then seven foot on the back because of the field. Well done, hasn't it? For getting that in by yourself. This one's looking good. As always, custom re. Oh, come on, focus. That's not a bad line if we do say so ourselves. Shame about this panel. We do have a gate to do, don't we? Let's go do that gate. Yeah, so as they said, let's see if I got that right. I hope so. Baby, I know that it's stronger than yesterday. Whilst Asner does a very important job and puts the stain on the panels, uh, the top of the things. What are they called? Timbers, speak English. Being stupid. Let me just remind you what this was looking like in the back. As you can see, just yesterday, this was overgrown hedge. And now, it's this. Um, would say not too shabby. Bit of concrete and round post, looking good. Need a gate here, need a gate there, need a panel there. This job will be complete. Half an hour, 45 minutes tomorrow? Yeah. 45 minutes tomorrow to be safe, 15 minutes for that, half an hour for that. It will be done here, won't we, mate? Oh, mate, easy. Happy with this one. Very, very happy with this one. Looking not too shabby indeed. Me and Asne about to have that cup of tea there and some mince pies. I've already had two and don't like them, so I'm probably going to eat all four. Big shout out to Finn. Almost taking my job. Yes, Finn, big shout out to you for plodding along and smashing it with a fencing. And he felt left out earlier, didn't you, mate? I did. Felt like his job was being taken because <laughs> Finn was just straight in there getting stuff done. Yeah. But that's what we like at DJ. Anyone that just jumps in, gets stuck in. You do well. Don't think I wasn't DJ. doing anything. Don't think I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He actually brought all the materials down off the van, bought the wood out with the lads. Asni was busy. Let's not let's not worry about that, guys. Yeah, I think that's it for another day, isn't it, mate? Just another day, that's it, yeah. Another day at DJ. We'll see you in the morning, bright and early. We might be here, might be on something else. See you in the morning. <laughs> We grabbed stone, tipped it off in the back. I've just come in the office and we've got another parcel. That is Heather. A heavy parcel as well. I'll grab Steve there and we can open it. Yeah, mate. Here you go. Higgs. He's not interested. He's here to Russell. I'm like. Yeah, he's here to Russell. This one must have come today, guys. Hello. There, there. You keep it warm, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tell it's Christmas. Oh, the chocolate's coming, are they? Whoa. Two kilogram, I can see it on the side. Two kg. Have they put more weight on than two kg? <laughs> right, who's this one from? Just too good Sharon to us, guys. Thatcher. Sharon Thatcher. Sharon Thatcher. Right, enjoy your gift. Thank you for entertaining us over the past year or two. Kind regards, Sharon and Stephen, South Coast from Sharon Thatcher. Big, big, big shout out to you, Sharon and family. Which is in it. Oh, oh, oh. And it's Cabra's, my favorite chocolate. So if anyone does know, Dad's favorite chocolate, Cabras and fudges. A whisper. Or what? Whisper? Whisper caramel. What are you doing? It's not here for you. No 
Normal whisper. There's nothing here for you, mate. Normal whisper. Normal whisper for and that. If anyone knows, he'll go like cardboard. Yes. He loves cardboard. Get out of here. You make a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Get out of here. What are you doing? Nearly home time, mate. But with that said, it's another day at D&J. We'll see you in the morning, guys. So good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day at D&J. Jord and Jord are on a drop crossing today. I believe my dad's getting the tarmac. Me and Aunt might even be joining a little later today. We're just waiting on some limestone, which my dad is about to get now from there. Grab's just coming out of the way. Yeah, it's gonna be a busy, busy, busy day and a very cold one as well. Minus five this morning and grabs frozen. On a brighter note, has anyone noticed that my dad's wearing any Santa Santa jumper or any Santa hat? I'm sure you'll see it later. For now, me and Ant's got delivery, then job. So let's get it done, guys. Delivery's done. I'm sexy and I snow it. And a ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. It's jumper day and tomorrow as well. It's Thursday today, Friday tomorrow. But uh, cold without the jackets yeah. on, isn't it, mate? It's freezing without the jackets. I want but... to say, right, with all the comments on the last video, yeah, Stevie yeah, does graft. <laughs> he just yeah? don't see it. Right, he does. <laughs> no, we're a good team together. And there was a lot of comments about that, the A team, as in when it comes to fencing. So I do appreciate that. All the lads at DJ work are very, very hard. And we are blessed to have such good employees. A lot of comments saying, I hope they're. The, the the boss as in my dad and mum know how lucky they are to have good employees and i can tell you right now guys they definitely know how lucky they are to have these good employees because we've had bad employees we've had bad employees everyone's had bad employees if you've got a business i know you've had bad employees when you get the good ones you look after them but that's why hasn't he don't get looked after because he's a bad way he's a bad egg <laughs> <laughs> but it's gate time it's free hinges let's get it on there and then we'll slide this panel in we'll do this with a time lapse That's how you always want one of these to work. You don't want to have to close it and have to do this to close it. You want it to do that, guys. Not too shabby indeed. Wasn't sure how this white timber one was gonna look, but looking at that, looks very nice. Now it's just this one here. So then guys, that's the gate done. That's this job, no, no. that's this job done. We'll have a quick walk through, show you the job, and then we'll show you some befores and afters of pictures in sequence. Let us know what you think in the comments.
too shabby guys go over to my dad and i think we'll go over to his clips as well thank you for watching always a pleasure having you guys here we love you all hello 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 it is a thursday morning and i'm in big red for ages since i've been in big red levers were frozen on this this morning we've had to defrost them what we did we flashed the flashed them over with the blowtorch we take the blowtorch with us flash them over again but yeah it's a cold one it's saying minus six yeah it is cold it feels like these eaters in this wagon aren't even on stevie is completing the fencing job today we're doing a drop crossing the lads are out on deliveries so yeah it is going to be a cold one today i think the first stop we will get a drink a hot drink inside us and then we'll head up to the job so yeah we'll, we'll get a hot drink and then we'll head up to the job Going for greg's today go the reason me and John's had a cobby each just to get some warmth back inside us. So let's head over to this drop crossing. So we are on the drop crossing. BP's made a lovely job of the drive. So what we're we doing? So we've got four curves to replace. The taper, 10 by fives are coming out. Six by fives are replacing the taper and two of them. And that is going to be a taper. I know normally we put a taper there, but this customer has paid for four curves and that's what's on the permit. Can't do any more. We can't do any less so whatever it says on the permit we have to do this because it's a different council but literally it's going to be there we're going to infill that with tarmac cut there and cut there but yeah they haven't paid for the full section could have paid for it if they wanted it but they haven't they've just gone for let's get on the drive so make it more usable drive yeah that drive looks lovely what do you reckon that color combination jordan likes that color combination i think it'll get pretty dirty but i do like the blue black blocks around the edge so yeah let's get this cut and let's start getting these curbs out backing off the curb the orange chain back in it's all taken off i mean drawing's just thought about this one of the neatest ones we've seen because the digger to dig it out it's nice and straight coming out like that so yeah really really well now nah, all we do we tap the curbs and they're going to be frozen we tap them out get them out and roll them out and then depending on what the bed's like underneath whether we need to put a bit under or take a bit away we'll see <laughs> Is open and not frozen. I think it's frozen on 
just roll them out like that. Last one's always the hardest. You can have rewards. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go, they're out. Looks like they put them on a bit sharp, son. So that'll come out. So I'm going to have about a 20 mil bed. So we've caught with my dad and Jord, as you saw. Drop crossing time on BP Paving's job. Told you before, we always work together where we can. Used to do the fencing, but then fencing materials went quite high. And then I believe it was just a little bit too expensive for BP, which is absolutely fine. Still get the stuff from us. And we do appreciate that. But yes, it's me and George putting these curbs in. They seem to be the curb kings right now. Dad and Aunt are going to get tarmac. I believe they will be filming. You'll catch up with them pretty, pretty soon. But yeah, let's get it. So whilst dad and aunt are keeping warm in the grab, me and Jordan are going to keep warm with this concrete right here. Going to put it on the van here. Hello. Looks well looked after, nice and groomed. This on the van. She's gone from there to up there. Literally just waiting for the grab now. Put these cones out so obviously no one parks here and we stick within the sort of rules. And then yeah, wait for tarmac. So me and Anna at the tarmac yard now. Would you believe it? It's broke down. We've been sat here for an hour and a half now, waiting for tarmac. They're just gonna get a test because they've got it going. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some tarmac. We only not want a ton and a quarter of tarmac. So it's really, really a little amount. But we need it to close that job down. If not, it's gonna have to be done tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday, and obviously we break up tomorrow. We're allowed to break up, me and Bird. So yeah, we'll let you know how we get on. Strapping that up can only mean one thing. The tarmac. Tarmac yard is frozen. We're gonna have to get tarmac tomorrow. So to see this completed, you're gonna catch up on a Wednesday. This is gonna be part of a Wednesday video now. I'm sorry guys, but it is what it is. Me and the lads want tarmac as much as you. But like I say, I don't know what Wednesday video this is gonna be in, but it's definitely gonna be in a Wednesday video now. So what we're doing now, we're gonna have to go back to the yard, put a few jobs in, which we're meant to be doing tomorrow, probably today, we'll see. Let's say the time is half past two, so we'll see when we get back to the yard. So we're not back at the yard. <laughs> the van's broke. But Turner's cars snapped the drive shaft. So under there, we've had to ratchet it up, the drive shaft snapped. There should be a drive shaft in there. That should be connected to that. But it's pulled it out. So yes, we have been shafted. Proper. No drive on this job, been proper shafted. And it's the, his little baby, his baby's oh, broke. You know what? This is, it's karma because me and Am were at the fencing job earlier. And I think it, oh, that, it cut out or something. I said something about the van, and then I, I opened the door and went, oh, not really, baby. And now, look, <laughs> she thought it was over. I'm actually gutted. Yeah, so, yeah. turn us cars, we'll sort it out for us, and we'll get back in New Year. It's come to save the day, it's our Jordan. Jordan's come to pick us up, because we've only got three seats in the grab, and there's four of us. Well, there's five now, Jordan's turned up. So, next time you see us, we will definitely be in the yard. 
Back on. Just nip back to sites, have a look, see if we can find the pieces of jar trap because they're a bit missing. But first scratch is down there, and uh, we can't find it. So, yeah, definitely been shafted this week. Yeah, no drive and been shafted. <laughs> I think that's going to be the name of the video. See so, hello and good morning, guys. It is Friday morning, it's nine o'clock. Me and Dad have had a super early one today. It was at the tarmac plant for six. Getting some tarmac because, as you were saw in a few clips previous, it did not go to plan. But we came in early, smashed it out, all three of us, got the tarmac in done. 21st of December, you were going to see the finished tarmac. But you're not just going to see that. You're going to see Dad and Jord on the grab today. You're also going to see me and Asna install a nice, lovely six-foot toggle groove gate. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a pleasure having you as always. We were going to put the hot wing challenge in. We might have made reference to it already in this video, but BP Pagan's asked if we can just push it back a little because his isn't ready yet. These amateur YouTubers, they're not quite up to the D&J schedule, but uh, it's coming on Wednesday as well, guys, the 21st. So yeah, that's pretty much it from this video. Like Stevie says, support we're getting is unreal at the minute. Yeah, it's been a super crazy week. We've had drama with the tarmac plans. We yes. have got jobs completed. We've got jobs outstanding. But if you do want to see that, obviously catch up on the Wednesday. But with that said, it's bye from me. And me. And Steven. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.